parents and students, I hope everybody is doing well. We had a great morning with youth ministry this morning at the Santa Maria Mission. We helped in their soup kitchen and also helped at their food drive, delivering groceries to those in need in Tampa. It was really beautiful. Um, there's a lot going on this uh, season. Of course, it's Advent, though, so we want to make sure with our families that we're really in that spirit of prayer, that we're in that spirit of penance, and that we're in the spirit of really just getting rid of the distractions. I know it's really difficult. Sometimes the season can be chaotic, but we want to make sure that we're ready and our hearts are open to receive the Lord at Christmas. So we do have a penance service for all of our families, and we're encouraging them to go. It's on Wednesday, December 9th at seven o'clock. We will not have edge that night, but we're encouraging all of our families to come to that penance service. We'll have multiple priests there um, and really come with your come with your kids so that they can receive this beautiful sacrament uh, of, of reconciliation with the Lord and open their hearts, but also for yourself too. So we can all have that spirit uh, of, of humility as, as Jesus comes as a little baby humbled into our hearts in Christmas. So uh, speaking of chaos, uh, we have a chaos retreat. Now, if you don't know what that retreat is, it's going to be so great. We have a great retreat team. In fact, we have one of our seminarians, Zach, who's going to be joining us for that retreat. It's at Mary Help of Christians. It's only a day retreat. And a lot of our confirmation students are going, but really this is for all of our high school students. So we hope that all of them register for the chaos retreat. It is going to be so much fun. We have just, we planned an amazing event for our students and uh, we're excited. That's December 5th. So I know it's right around the corner, but we still have some spots. Check your emails for that. All right, we're thinking about summer 2021. I know it's crazy to think about summer 2021. You're probably just trying to get over what's going on in, in 2020. Uh, but we have Covecrest and Hidden Lake summer camps that we are pre preparing for and planning. And that is June 7th through the 12th. If you're interested in going, we actually have some space still available. Last year we had 75 kids for high school uh, registered for that trip. This year, of course, it's a little different as we're registering, but we're trying to fill the, that bus up. So we have about 10 to 15 spaces open for high school and about the same for our middle schoolers as well for Hidden Lake. So make sure you guys uh, email Miss Jen, jen.lender at stthims.org if you're interested in going. And finally, we are going to the March for Life, but not in D.C. We are going to go uh, to St. Augustine. They're having a, a March for Life Florida in, um, what is that, January 15th through the 16th. We're going to advocate for life and defend life there. We're going to march, but we're also going to have some fun activities for the students. We're going to do, I think, a ghost tour. And, and believe it or not, this is like the most Catholic city in the United States. In fact, the first mass was said there, so it's a bit of a pilgrimage. We'll visit uh, the uh, shrine of Our Lady of Nombre de Dios, so we are really excited about this trip to St. Augustine, and you guys, most of you have probably been there. It's so beautiful, and we're excited to spend a couple days there. Last but not least, we have a program that we do every single year with our students called Holiday Hugs, and this is where we go out and we carol for the homebound elderly from uh, St. Tim's, our St. Tim's parishioners and that aren't able to get out of the house. Uh, this year we won't be able to sing carols to them because of COVID, but we're still gonna go there and deliver uh, special handmade cards from our students and gifts uh, to their doors and knock on their doors and do that on December 21st. So two things. Number one, if you know an elderly or somebody that's sick that can't get out of the house uh, that would love a card from our students and a gift, uh, then let us know. Email us and let us know at their address. Second um, is this. We have a night that says uh, basically Life Teen Christmas Party uh, night where uh, students are coming over or our Edge Christmas Party. During those Christmas parties, we want all of our students to be there because that's where we're going to make those Christmas cards. We're actually going to do service at our Christmas party and we're excited to do that for them. We actually have a lot of fun doing it as well. So they'll get some service hours at our Christmas parties this year for youth ministry. I know I just said a mouthful and it's like a five minute video almost, but uh, promise that you look at your emails and I will promise that I'm praying for you. Please pray for us that we can instill Christ in the lives of each and every one of these students that come through these doors and that we will all draw near in our relationship with Jesus. God bless you guys. Have a great holiday season.